Hey Simmers, welcome to Make 2 and a Let's Build video in The Sims Freeplay. We are going to build a two-story family home. This is actually a house that we have toured on the channel before, so what we're going to build in this video is not going to be exactly the same house, but it is going to be very similar to it. If you want to see the tour of the previous house, then just check the video description below for a link to that, as well as links to some useful information like how to get LPs and simoleons to pay for this house. So as usual with our Let's Build videos, this is just going to be guidelines and suggestions. You can build it in your own town, and if you do so, feel free to make whatever changes you want. The house is a little bit weird, I think, because I had originally built it for a particular sim family that I made in my town, and so it fits their personalities, but I think I'm sort of outgrowing the house and I want to make room in my town for a different house and I'm actually going to delete this one and that's why I'm doing a let's build video so if I ever want to rebuild it then I can just watch my own video. <laughs> And also, as usual, if you guys are posting pictures of your version of the house on social media, like Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram, wherever, then we just appreciate a shout out to let people know where you got the design from. Make two. So one of the reasons that the house is, like I said, a little bit weird is that the upstairs has got a lot going on. I've got two bedrooms for two, I would say, teenage sims in this family, and then there's a whole section for the grandmother of the family who lives there, so it's sort of like a granny flat. And then there are like a couple of fun rooms upstairs as well, so yeah, it's got a lot going on. It's not really a traditional kind of house probably, but just a house that fits the sim family's personalities, as I said. If this house isn't your style, we've got plenty of other Let's Build videos on our channel. Feel free to check those out, we've got a whole playlist of them. So I posted a note towards the beginning of this video, but in case you missed it, in order to build houses with multiple stories in The Sims Free Play, you need to unlock that ability by completing the multi-story renovations quest. This quest is unlocked at, I think, level 17, but only after you finish all the required quests that come before it. I also had a note at the beginning of this video that this house is built on the Teen Idol Mansion lot. That Teen Idol Mansion is unlocked by completing the Road to Fame quest and the Teen Idol Hobby a whole bunch of times. And that is just what gives you the fence around and the gate and the fountain in the front. As I said, there's links in the video description below for more information on all of that. So the downstairs of this house has a living room, dining room, kitchen, the usual things, and it also has a master suite downstairs so that the upstairs is for the kids and the grandmother.
So this is the house with all the windows and doors put in, and now I'm going to put in the floors and walls. There are a lot of bathrooms in the house. I think there are like three full bathrooms on the top floor and then on the bottom floor there is the master bathroom and also a powder room for guests. This is just everybody gets to have basically their own bathroom. There's no fighting over the toilets and whatnot. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and put in the fixtures like toilets and countertops, the kind of things that will be in the house when you move in and it's empty. So this is the powder room, it just got a sink and toilet. And on the other side of that is going to be the master bathroom. For the kitchen, I'm going to use these wood top urban counters, which were added to the game during, I think, a limited time event a little while ago. So if you don't have them, then you just basically have to wait for the game developers to decide to bring the event back. So upstairs we've got bathroom number one, which is just a common guest bathroom for anyone to be able to use. Bathroom number two is grandmother's bathroom, and it's just for her private use. Yeah. 
And bathroom number three is for the kids to share, so it's only accessible between their two bedrooms. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some furniture in the house. Again, this is just guidelines to show you what exactly each room is meant to be for. So at the front here we've got a dining room. If you're building this in your own town, you can use whatever furniture you want. This back here is meant to be the living room. Again, I think these couches were added as part of the same urban furniture event as the countertops came from. This small room off of the living room is meant to be like an office or a study, so I'm putting a computer in there. And then this is the master bedroom. Not really spending a ton of time picking and choosing the exact right furniture because this is just meant to be a speed build kind of video. And like I said, just to show you what each room is supposed to be for. So up here we've got grandma's bedroom. And then she's also got her own small living room just for herself. And that will have a kitchenette as well. These quilted couches, by the way, are from completing the seniors quilting hobby a few times. For this bedroom, I sort of picture it being for a teenage girl. So I'm giving her this gingerbread bed, which I think was from another limited time event. And she gets a little vanity table. And then this room I picture as being for like a teenage sim boy so his furniture is a bit darker. This big middle room is just meant to be like a family room. A little less formal than the living room downstairs. And then off of that, we've got a room which I guess could be like a playroom, or a practice room, or a game room. And then off of that, another small office. So that is the house with furniture in, so you can see how all the rooms are supposed to be fitting together. And then we can just put some random decorations around. Like for instance, a closet for the hall for a guest to put their coats and things in. And plants. Plants always help a house feel more warm and cozy and lived in.
And then in the yard, we can put some trees. I think in our version that we originally toured on the channel, there is a pool in the backyard because the Scandinavian house lot that we originally used has a pool in it. But for this one, I'm just going to have a small patio off the back where the family can do some grilling and barbecuing. So that patio pattern comes from the spa event recently. And that is the house, basically. I'm just going to show you some pictures of our version so you can see what you can do with the same layout but with different furniture choices. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.